Hello interwebs and welcome to Jesse Recommends, a series on this channel where I share with you works of art that really inspired and moved me and share it with all of you in hopes that you will find and love it too. Uh, and for today's episode, I am going, going to be talking about... Hey there interwebs, glad you were tough enough to finally make it to this channel. Only the strongest people will actually make it through this channel, will actually make it through this video. So are you tough enough? Are you strong enough? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm a giant dork. I'm a giant dork. I'm sorry, everybody. I don't know what that was. Anyways, I'm sorry that I am a giant dork. Uh, but uh, yes, I am going to be talking about a show that I truly love called Counterpart, uh, a show that aired on Stars for two seasons before being canceled kind of before its time. Canceled? Canceled before its time. Don't know why I speak like that. But Counterpart is a truly fantastic series that I really, really love, starring J.K. Simmons, J. 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 Jonah Jameson. <laughs> I don't know why you all watch this channel. Starring J. Jonah Jameson himself, J.K. Simmons. Um, and it is a truly fantastic show. Honestly, one of my favorite shows. Also, stopping the video right here real quick because for some reason my camera turned off at this point. So you're going to hear my voice for the rest of this video. Uh, but for some reason, the video stopped. So I'll have some clips and stuff from the show going on on top. But if you're wondering why you didn't see my beautiful face, that's why. Truly I am a professional. Anyways, to talk about what we're going to be talking about, we are talking about a little show called Counterpart, one of my truly favorite shows that kind of got overlooked and forgotten, and it only lasted two seasons before it was sadly canceled, but what a two seasons it was. For those of you who don't know Counterpart, the basic concept is this. Back in around the 1960s, our universe split in two, creating two distinct universes that went on their own distinct paths. But what's interesting about it is up until that point, both universes were exactly the same. Most universe stories have two parallel universes where some difference, the splitting off point was somewhere in the distant past. But for this show, both universes have only been existing for about 40 years. So most of the characters have the same exact childhood, they have the same exact history, so they have the same exact nature and nurture. But after that universe split, they've gone on two completely different tangents. Now, both universes very much distrust each other and have created this sort of Cold War-esque espionage thriller vibe between the two, where they're sort of spying on each other, looking in on each other, trying to, like, games the one up on each other. And both universes have had dramatic shifts in their status quos. One universe has, oh god, I just realized this as I'm talking, has been destroyed by a pandemic <laughs> that was potentially created by the end of the universe. Uh... Didn't think about that. We are living in the darkest universe. Anyways, <laughs> so both universes have kind of gone on their own trajectory. They have vastly different things about them, even though they have the same starting point and have this sort of Cold War apparatus uh, set up. But the main thrust of the show follows the character of J.K. Simmons, who in our universe, the main universe that we follow, he is a lower on the wrong totem pole guy. He just sort of does the basics of stuff. He doesn't really know any of the crazy stuff going on. But then all of a sudden, his counterpart from the other universe, who is a very high up on the totem pole uh, person, person in the organization on, in Hint's universe and who is a tough as nails man. He isn't this nice softy and good husband that J.K. Simmons in our universe is. Uh, comes over and says, look, there's a big conspiracy going on. People are working together on both sides of the universe to cause this big conspiracy and, and uh, sort of sets off this spy games-esque thriller sequence. And it's a really topsy-turvy, wonderfully written, incredibly crazy uh, sort of story going on here with all the different uh, universes and things sort of touch upon each other but what's really at the core of this story is a very human tale about what choices in our lives cause us to become the people who we are because jk simmons like i said is playing this wonderful dual role who are very two very different men one man is a loving husband a caring husband a caring guy on the other so uh, side he is hardened he is uh almost cruel in how he treats people and so it's this look of like how did these two men sort of go off on this different path when they share the same basic childhood and life growing up and jk simmons just puts in a phenomenal dual performance in both roles that really bring the heart out of both characters and it's also centered around his wife in one universe uh the our universe the caring husband universe jk simmons wife is in a coma and hasn't woken up and we don't know why she is in a coma and that starts playing out in the spy game sort of tale that gets brought up here and in the other universe, J.K. Simmons was still married to the same woman, but they've split apart. They don't, aren't together anymore. And sort of what happened to cause them to split apart and have two distinct lives. But in that universe, he also has a daughter. So 
it's sort of these interesting sort of interweaving tangles of the relationships we form and how we build these relationships and how we distance ourselves from these relationships, all while on top of a really brilliant Cold War thriller. And I don't want to dishearten these sort of like cool uh, storylines that go on in this uh, story because there are some really trippy moments that they get to explore through this Cold War espionage thriller. Uh, there is one episode in season two that I don't want to spoil, but there's one episode that is a very distinct sort of siloed episode in season two that is such a brilliant and I, I have to say one of my favorite hours of television ever done. It's hard for me to talk about that episode without spoiling, so I won't say too much, but seriously, the whole show is great, but that one episode in season two is truly phenomenal. Just look at the ideas of the butterfly effect and nature versus nurture and how one small decision can radically change the lives of so many people. Kind of similar to what I was talking about in the show For All Mankind in a recent video that I did on it. Uh, so, Overall, Counterpart is a brilliant show that I cannot recommend enough. I mean, even if you're just a fan of J.K. Simmons, who is a fantastic actor, I have never seen a single thing that J.K. Simmons has been in that he has disappointed me in. And this is peak. This show is peak J.K. Simmons. Uh, this this show and Whiplash are like there's there's no more J.K. Simmons that you could ever ask for than those two things. Um, so. I cannot recommend Counterpart enough. It is one of my favorite shows, one that got overlooked. And I will say this too. While it did get canceled a little bit before its time, I wish it had gotten a season three and it could have gone on to tell more stories. Where it ends in season two, while not the perfect ending, does feel to me like, okay, I feel at least all right with where this show ended. It could have had more. There's more stories to tell, but it's not one of those shows where it gets canceled and you're like, oh man, oh, that was such a cliffhanger and I really, really, really wish I knew more and I wish I could see more and I wish there was more to tell here. Like season two, while not a perfect ending for the show, it does feel at least like there is some resolution and conclusion to the storylines going on here. So it's not going to be one of those like, oh, I'm really frustrated. Like this is a great show, but it just leaves me hanging right at the end. So Yes, it's a bit of a disappointment that it didn't get more love, that it didn't continue on, but I will tell you that you will get at least some satisfaction in the conclusion of the show. So it is well worth your time. Cannot recommend enough, but I'd love to hear all your thoughts in the down below. Have you seen Counterpart? Did you like Counterpart? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more recommendations from from me. I was going to say from Jesse, and I'm like, I'm Jesse. That's me. I'm Jesse a person. Or am I? Am I the alternate universe, Jesse? Who knows? Only J.K. Simmons. And don't forget to help me out on Patreon. Live long and prosper, everybody. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. I swear to God, I am a professional. Newt, can you get out from behind the computer now? <laughs> He's hiding behind the computer. Anyways, bye. Patrons, you are my patrons. You are so awesome. So here are your names. Catherine Lambeth, Eli Berg Moss, Ashley Allen, Bo Kiki, Yo, Miranda Janelle, Ashlyn Solstice, Greg Gillum, Stephen Kleinard, Camille T, Randy Thompson, Stephen Schuhart, Boyd Earl, and Mary Beth Earl, Wellington Marcus, Wayne Twitchell, Rick Osborne, Roar, Ish the Mad, Piston Twisted Garage, Dominic Noble, Buttoneer, John Steele, Michael Beam, Gavin Robinson, Carmen Olson, William Stewart, Amanda Ronia Idania, Hannah F., Nathan Olson, Andrew Jorgensen, BBD, Jason Knott, Maeve, Maeve, saying it twice because I can, Andrew K., Bree Beecher, Jasmine, Nathan Steele, Skylar Gray, Lily, Tiffany Danger, Sean Piper, Wen Dizzle Bizzle, Bush, Jane Packard, Geek, Filter, Mari Neckard, Jacob Tovar, Polly Menia, Celestial Dawn, Jean Mithun, Sarah Bystam, Din, Mark the Edge, Corey Honkinen, and Veil the Pale, Dunn, Lysa, W. Randy Edie, Andrew Lamoro, Zone One Librarian, and finally, Michael Hardy. I am sorry <laughs> for that, but seriously, thank you so much, patrons. You really mean the world to me, and you really are changing my life, even if uh, I may have changed your life for the worst with my singing. Thank you so much for all of your support.